Hi guys, I am back again with another grilled pork recipe. Today we are going to do Vietnamese grilled pork sandwich. If you enjoy my other videos how to make grilled pork and grilled pork spring rolls, you've got to try this one out. This is going to be a mouth-watering, interesting combination of the meat and the crunchiness, the vegetables, and it's going to make you keep taking the bite again and again. So let's cook. Let's make this awesome sandwich. So let's start with the marinade. I have some salt, sugar, and chicken powder in here. Garlic powder. I love garlic powder and black pepper paprika don't worry all these ingredients are in my uh, Vietnamese grilled pork video so uh, you can check all that out Mommy, down in the description below oh my gosh, that's a lot. give it a quick stir if you have the little one that likes to help uh, the key ingredient is the uh, a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce and a couple of tablespoons of fish sauce so always give it a good taste I also added some minced garlic and uh, minced shallot in here. This is gonna smell so good. So good. I also added about two to three tablespoons of uh, chopped lemongrass. This is my homegrown lemongrass over the summer. This is Melanie with Fist Sauce Mama. If this is your first time here, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell for weekly videos from me. I'm using Boston butt or a pork shoulder. Uh, you use uh, any kind, but I think this one gives it a little bit of fat so that it won't be too dried out. I cut about a half an inch thick and throw them all in there. Give uh, the whole potion a quick toss around. Make sure they all incorporated. And then just wrap them up and set them aside for about 30 minutes. Or longer, you can put them in the fridge. I have developed this Vietnamese grilled pork recipe that has been enjoyed throughout my families for all over these years and I've shared it on my channel and a lot of people gave me great feedback so I am here to show you another way to enjoy the grilled pork. Shred some onions, some green onions for some nice green color. This is just water. You can put it in ice water to let it curl up, but I think regular water will be just fine. I cut the cucumber to the length of my bread my husband got uh, the little bread this time so the cucumber is kind of short and then just set it aside this is also my homegrown uh, cilantro the end is a little bit tough so just kind of chunk them up in there and a little bit of uh, pickled carrot for some color uh, I'm doing this on high heat, so uh, get your large pan out and uh, get everything out. Add a little oil and lay your meat in there. Get that sizzling sound that makes it in the aroma. This is the video series of grilled pork, so don't forget to check out my other playlist in the description box. So don't forget to check it out after you watch this video. I forgot to say that I uh, was out of gas and I have to do this in-house but I promise the flavor and the taste and the aroma is there. It looks just as good and it tastes and smells just as good. Give your uh, meat about uh, 3 to 5 minutes on each side and just flip them up. I add my lemongrass uh, on the second because lemon, I don't want the lemongrass to burn. Give it a few uh, move around 
to make sure all the pieces get a little bit of a lemongrass stick to it. Let me know down in comments below if you ever had the Vietnamese grilled sandwich. So here is the bread. Uh, I think my husband got this at uh, Harris Teeter. I was telling him to get me the hoagie, but this is all they have left due to the crisis, the coronavirus. So this is all I have to eat. And I like to slit them in the middle and heat them up for about three minutes. Give it a little bit of the crunchiness. That's just how I always grow up. I like the little crunchy, uh, crumbly bread. But if you like, you know, soft bread, then uh, don't stick it in the oven. Get your meat out. And look at that. It's shiny and it's, oh, that's, that smells so good. And this is the final product. My kids are distracting me. So uh, what I did was I took out my bread. Hear that sound? And that's what I want. And cut them all the meat up. Uh, my kids were distracting me, so I forgot to video. They keep coming for the meat, so I just basically uh, put some meat in there, uh, a little bit of uh, pickled carrot, some green onions, some cilantro, and your cucumber, and I also drizzle a little bit of this sweet Vietnamese uh, fish sauce, it's called dipping sauce. So check it out, uh, my uh, video for this. I will link it or I will uh, make the video for it. This is one way my family enjoy uh, this sandwich. My husband and I bring this to work. Sometimes we eat this for dinner, uh, we eat for lunch. Sometimes I eat this um, in the morning if uh, I have it during the weekend. In the morning, I would love to have a sandwich, a grilled pork sandwich if I have some available. It's taste time. I'm telling you, you could have to do this. This is so good. Let me take a first bite. I stuffed it so much. I keep pushing it in. I need to add some more meat, but this bread is so small. Mm, the combination of the flavors and the texture. I'm telling you, you have got to try this. I tell you, I keep taking a bite again and again and again. I hope this recipe will make it to your family and um, you will hear all this mmm and ah and like a non-stop biting onto that sandwich. I hope you enjoy this recipe and good luck! That's it guys for this video. Uh, don't forget to check out my other videos down in the description below and um, check out my playlist also and I'm also going to link it to my end card. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did to let me know and subscribe for future videos. Have a great day. Bye bye.